So Netflix sucks. Totally bites balls, motherfuckers. Seriously, we had this whole thing planned out to actually start watching all the James Bond movies back to back to back to back to back. Cue it all up on Netflix and then just ride it until the end, until we decided yeah. to lose our fucking brains. They were, with all, they were all available last month. That's why we decided to do this. And uh, when we went to watch them, all they were every single one of them were only available on DVD. Poof, gone. Netflix just suddenly changed up a bunch of stuff on there that they decided to remove. I'm not sure if it's because of that stupid uh, getting rid of DVDs and, and online streaming watch, the whole... I forget what they called it, Quick Picks or something like that, but... I call it bullshit. It's, it's, pretty, it's pretty stupid, so... We had to so had fuck to, you, Netflix. I'm not paying for your service anyways. I'm using Flinny's service. Yeah, so fuck you, Netflix. I'm not paying for your shit anymore. Ever again. Ever? <laughs> Man. All right, so, so we need to find something new to do this month. I thought it would be a cool idea if I picked up Skyrim. And I thought it would be a cool idea if Choza also picked up Skyrim. Because I am a bipartisan reviewer yeah. and thought that we should review twice. It's, uh, pretty, uh, okay, it's, it's, it's fantastic. I mean, there's yeah, no, there's I, no other word around it. I, mean, I don't have anything negative to say about it yet. It's, uh, pretty much I'm just, almost 30. Well, I'm only, like, level Something. 13 right now. I yeah. got the game, like, a couple days after, but the game is, is, is amazing on the PlayStation 3. It's amazing have, on the Xbox. You have all, you have all the, all the standard things you kind came of with a map. From. And uh, a thing for Prey oh, 2. Oh, Prey 2, where you're not an Indian anymore. And uh, something Indians called Dishonored. Which is probably some crap. It looks like Half-Life 2 dystopian it. future shit. Or, oh, it's Bethesda. <coughs> I don't know, maybe. It might not suck. Well, Bethesda's about 50-50 overall, so... So, yeah, Skyrim. Hey, are you guys talking about Skyrim? Fuck yeah, we are. Oh shit, let me join in. Alright. Skyrim. Yeah. Flinty Cloth. Channel Zero. So yeah. we decided that we couldn't just do an Xbox 360, PlayStation 3 review of Skyrim, or at least a first impression of it, exactly. without without having the PC version covered as well. Since Which I happen to have. Inevitably, there'll be tons of mods that we won't be able to get on our systems. <laughs> okay, so basically, yeah, so the, story you for you, the story for you getting that's kind of cool, you hate first-person games, one-player games. I hate one-player games, yeah. just period. Besides Zelda, maybe. That's so you, cool. you just all you play is like MMOs, like pretty much for the most part. Up. But so, what made you decide you wanted to get Skyrim above anything else at the time? I mean, you have a you have like a a, a down payment on a Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword at the end of the week that's due, and you decided to blow all that money would have gotten into that game that you already have money on for this. I mean, it's Zelda. What? Um, I don't know. Uh, my buddy Jake was talking about it, and. He was, he was talking about it, and it sounds, I was like, hey, you know, it sounds really cool. I'm, sh I'm sure you like it, you know, it's a good game, blah, blah, blah. You know, the whole spiel I know I put people through, you know, why I don't like single-player games, because they generally bore me. But then I was watching Chozo play, uh, what was, and what was something about the game What, what just, was the standout moment for Chozo playing the game that just, like, the one that was a <sighs> brain explode, I have to get this, was it, oh. was it, was it him with a, with a pickaxe? And going to town mining to give you those little uh, Warcraft flashbacks. You know, it, it was, of like I gotta start there mining. A, there was a little bit about the mining. You know, I'm doing a little bit of that now, right? <laughs> oh, I love mining. I'm just working on it. Why don't you go to the coal mine? And just, like just start crafting working in there. I mean, I'm just crafting like a making, pro. I'm gonna be making dragon armor stuff. in no time. All right. So, all right. Oblivion. You've never played any of the uh, any of the Elder Scroll games. Never ever. Okay. Never so, played Fallout and never played any Elder Scrolls. Okay. It's now, all new to me. The thing is with that is kind of like if you look at the type of game that you jump into immersively, it, it, immersion is a huge part of it. Um, Oblivion, I really liked Oblivion. Shane's a little bit half and half my, on it. My biggest problems with Oblivion is primarily gameplay and some of the clunkiness of, of the how voice acting. The voice acting. It just it, it takes you out <laughs> of the aspect. But there's a lot of stuff that they've kept from Oblivion and refined and made so much better in Skyrim. But the thing with it is it's all taking place in the same world as the Elder Scrolls games. And, you know, we've always heard about Skyrim from the other games and little, little pits of, bits of lore and some of the characters like the Nords and shit. But and now you get to play it. Well, that's kind of the thing, too. Is, like, you've noticed this especially. There's so much difference in the characters you can make because we all have oh, yeah. different characters. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, I'm a stealthy cat character. Yeah, you you're uh, go the fur fag. Yeah. You're the, uh, I'm, I'm the Imperial. You're the Imperial homosexual from, from character. Cyril. 
go and Imperial. And I'm playing a red guard. Which is yeah. the inbred character. So basically, I think that's actually true, I think. No, the red guards are so like the Muslims. I was going to say, yeah, everybody that's why starts you wanted me to call him Charlie Murphy. Maybe. Oh, God. So basically, yeah, Skyrim, game of the year, this is my pick. I know we got Skyward Sword coming yeah. out, and a lot of stuff you know, that's come out there. I have to say, that that isn't a bad judgment on the game, because for someone that hates single-player games, yeah. this thing has really taken me in. I'm and I'm enjoying it. Every moment, and every, every moment. And you can't play it online with other people, at least not, at least yet. not yet, until they mod that. Like, yeah. So, like, it's yeah, modded, which is... Version. We can. The PC is awesome. Uh, there might be DLC, I mean, who knows? Hey, you know, you should fix your computer, and then you, you can know play what? games, too. You know what, but PlayStation 3 has become my computer, sort of, when it doesn't crash when running internet, Sony ah. and all that. Alright, now, so, uh, one of the things here, Sony. Shane, you haven't fought a dragon yet. You, I have, I've completed, I've completed You've somehow player. avoided the biggest thing. I've fought like 20 of them. That's, I, I've, I've, fought, I've, I've had multiple I've on like the three. screen. I've had two at the same, at the same time. See, that's funny, because I'm like, I'm just like completely You're just like main avoiding dragons. Stuff. It's like hilarious. Like, they say, go talk to the Jarl. He will know what to do next. We need reinforcements you know, down And that's here. a really good side quest. Yeah. yeah I'm still trying that's, to that's the werewolf thing. or not. They have this like Werewolf's radial, awesome. they have this like radial questing thing going on. Because Natural, your quests, poison resist your quests disease. were completely different than the ones I did. Yeah, yeah I feel like it was, it was so funny because I'm like sitting there and I do these quests for the, this group called the Companions and I'm going through. No spoilering. And no spoilering really for that, but they have you do some quests to, tr to trial you. And one of the quests I got was just go clear out this den of bad guys and it turns out there was a master vampire in there. You know, White Runs had problems with vampires, we want you to go get rid of them. So I'm like, eh, whatever, I'll go kill some vampires. And then I talk to these guys and I'm like, yeah, so I killed these vampires and they're like, Vampires? Where'd you fight vampires? And I'm like, <laughs> the companions have you go kill vampires? They're like, you're fucking lying. And I'm like, no, dudes. I even got this cool staff where I can summon ghost dogs. So good. Why did you do that to your box? I don't care about the box. It's like, it's like your game is still inside of it. It's like women. They're useless. Mine's not. <laughs> Nothing in there. Oh, wait. Prey 2! Wait, you got one of those too? Yeah, of course Apparently I Prey 2 is being advertised. <laughs> I got my map and everything. Oh, and Dishonored. And nice. Dishonored, oh my god. So yeah, you definitely need to go out there and pick up Skyrim. Um, I, would, I would agree. Yeah, and I it think, doesn't matter what system, because we all like it a lot. I mean, yeah. it's it's good regardless of what system you get it on. The, com the controls for the PlayStation 3, I'm usually pretty... Uh, iffy on them for the Bethesda game. The sword fighting is a little bit, yeah, but it's it, first person sword it, fighting. The way that it works, like. the way that it works is that's why like, I played third. You start out sucking as if you would if you just picked up a sword and thought you were going to go do stuff. Yeah. So when you get better, you're like, oh yeah. When you when you get those first critical kills, oh man, you're just like, it's so so f satisfying. That's still one of the greatest one, grabbing the wolf by the head and then just hacking. There's it a, with there's my a ass. billion of these things and just, yeah. So yeah, all right, my well, it's just just side of the head just. It's actually with my right sword. Yeah. So basically, yeah, it's James Bond is kind of on the back burner. Um, we've actually been acquiring the movies uh, legally. And hey, we hey. have all, we have been watching them. The we we fun. are definitely getting that video out next. Netflix kind of gave us a bump here, and Skyrim. I'm not gonna lie, has been eating up a lot of my time. God, no, we still have to watch. We still have to watch the Roger Moore movies. Heck, and dude. I mean, I don't even want to go to school or anything. It's I don't want to go to so work fun. anymore. You haven't been going to work. I'll get I called out two days I'm going to get fired, Joe, so... Really, I am. I think so. <laughs> no, I'll, I, I, that, that sucks for you, Shane, because it's hard to find things. a new job, you know, with this economy. You know, Obama's job God damn is it. coming through soon. All right. But, not, so, but where does Skyrim fall into this? I want more jobs to do for the companions. Exactly. Obama, Yeah. I think you're forgetting about we our... Need, okay, games. now they said that there's unlimited quests. I think it's true, because... It, it just keeps coming. Like I, I've got That's my quest meter is like five thousand quests already. I know. I got a million quests, and I have a friend that's actually beaten the game, and he's he's still questing. Yeah. So I mean, Skyrim, it's what's for dinner. The other white meat. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm sure. like oh, this. and also shout out to Glitch. Oh, in well, the yeah, hospital. Glitch. Yeah, we've been watching your videos. It's been. Uh... I haven't watched any. <laughs> oh, neither have I. I just want to say I was. Oh. <laughs> okay. We are in the darkness. Yeah. The darkness. It's spread in a <laughs> hospital room, yeah, and uh, spread eagle for the doctor to caw right at the <laughs> asshole. Yeah. But uh, yeah, apparently his brain's broke, and uh, yeah, sorry, glitch. I, get I get heard, better soon. I heard they threw him in the MRI machine with his piercing still. They just kind of ripped out <laughs> the magnet. Yeah, that's that's not healthy. Why are they doing but, an MRI uh, on his chest for his brain? MRIs for your brain. 
it's a whole big machine that your whole body goes okay, into. Okay, now, now hang on, hang on, hang on. I Wait a minute, why do they call it a CAT scan if you don't put cats in it? I don't know. I don't, I don't understand this. Okay, so your brain goes into a machine. It's probably an anagram for something. Hmm. We'll have to an find an anagram? Wheel. Yeah. I wonder if James Bond ever had to escape from an MRI machine. Jet Li had to bash people in the I think he did. Game once. Yeah, I remember that. That was in the one. Actually, no, that, that was a machine where it was like stretching his back. But it wasn't a cat scan. Ah, yeah, whatever. All right, this has been Chozo. And Flinty. Chance and Flinty. Uh, for uh, you guys. the Zero Level. <laughs> and uh, we'll see you on uh, our next episode, James Bond. Because the month of Bond is continuing. Yeah. Ba -da -da -ba -da -da.